I would just like to interject here right before we start the video and say that the final product, the build that I finally create in the end, is not something I would say I hold to the standard of my other builds, but I tried to show how I build my builds and I didn't really want to give up on the one build so I could focus on another build the same another day because I wanted to get this video out as fast as possible and I also wanted to show some sort of persistence and not be not try and show myself as lazy. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I've recorded this intro four times now and I've got to remind myself to call, stop calling myself a rubbish builder because that's where I always end up because I don't know it's ingrained in my head or something because uh, I'm, getting, I'm getting better. Anyway I want to show you how I build a starter base day and well it's not it's not a uh, very thing I've been using for a while now it might be good I might stop using it but I want to show you what uh, techniques I've learned recently. And I learned it from when I built this mega base. I thought, all right, how am I going to build this mega base? First, I have to structure the parts I want to build. So I structured them and I placed them all down there in parts. And then I added them to the mega base. And I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. So what was if I used the same technique on a starter base? And I did. And that's the uh, starter base that I made. It's pretty nice, quite an interior and everything. You should watch this short, which we linked in the description down below. Anyway, the part I actually want to show you is this starter base I'm going to be starting to build right now. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Don't know if it looked great. Don't know if it look, look absolutely awful. But these are all the parts I'm going to be using for it. I haven't done all the details and things yet. But these are the parts I'm going to be using for it. I've always wanted to use um, the new mangrove. Uh, blocks for a roof because the maroon texture, maroon colour, it's really nice but there's little blocks in Minecraft that actually use it so glad I got added in first of all and uh, second of all uh, I can't wait to build something with it hopefully it works with the bricks and doesn't merge them together honestly I don't know how whenever I do one of these how to build a starter base tutorials I don't know how I can screw it up so thoroughly every time so the first one I did, I did that triangle base and not triangle, well yeah triangle base and it was pretty rubbish, I didn't like it too much because I failed and I was under stress because I had to build it all the time. Either way, it, it wasn't great. Anyway, I've created another base like this and although it might be worse or it might be better than that first one, I'm not quite sure. But what I am sure of is it is weird, it was annoying to build and it was stressful and I hate this thing so much. I don't think I'm, I, I, there was a reason I didn't show the time lapse, it's because it probably would have gone on for so long. I've been sitting here, this probably took me the same amount of time it took me to build that, so I, I'm joking, it didn't, that took far longer. But um, this here, so annoying, why were you, why do you hurt me, why do you hurt me game? Anyway, what I decided to do in the end was try and build a cartoony build, because I've never done one of those before. And the realistic build, all these build choosing, I did in the end i just ate, ended up hating all of it because well this merged too closely with that the moss merged them together even more that didn't look right so i had to change that a bunch of times i had to change this and in the end i tried adding loads of like planks and walls to add some detail in but the thing is if you look at this build from afar it's gonna look absolutely insane like insanely bright i don't know how i'd fix this unless one sec while I'm talking about this thing, let me see if uh, making this roof not bright blue uh, helps. Like, I don't know, switching out to spruce or something. It's a little boring in it, but um, what, I, what I can do. Yeah, I think that looks. What looks better, that, that, or this? I say this looks better because it's just less in your face. But one thing I gotta say is, I think I've learned more from this video than you ever will. Well, I'm kidding, you might actually learn quite a bit from this video. I, I don't know if I'm a good teacher or not, but it's what gets me the most views. Anyway, this is the final product, I guess. And I'm actually, well, not you know, as proud of it as something like that or another base, but I'm, I'm, I'm decently proud of it. In the end, I decided to make it look like, in, like I, I decided to add some copper into the walls and I decided to do some little extra stuff. Like, uh, I don't know, I just, I just finished it off. And I'm decently proud. I removed the pink. I did some little blue stuff to add uh, contrast to it. And it's not the best build in the world. But it has enough detail. It's got colour in it. It's pretty, I guess. And it's a starter base. One thing I am actually proud of it for is the shape of it. The actual shape of the build is one thing I'm 
never that good at, but luckily today I've managed to get a, a good mix between shape, texture and colour although it did take me quite the while. In the future, I probably won't spend as much time on builds like this, but for this video here, I wanted to show the essence of persistence and how you can really fix any build you make. So if you ever think you're failing at a build, or one of your builds is failing, I would never suggest giving up on it, because today I've sort of learned that even if my build looks terrible, like, like it did, there's always ways you can fix it, improve it, and make it look nicer. Yeah, I feel like this base, although very simple, it doesn't have any vines or growths or anything. Although it's very simple and it feels a bit cartoony with the texturing, I think it works in its favour. So, yeah, that, that's how I build a starter base then. I, you even get to see the uh, three stages of uh, my mine. I'm really hyped to build it, really happy. You get to the middle stage and I'm... De destroying my mind trying to figure out how to make it work then i get to the final stage where i'm usually pleased yeah i've i've made this video now i can say goodbye uh, goodbye